Hi everybody, I'm Robin, this is Living Simply. I hope you're feeling good today. I am feeling good because we are gonna be doing a five minute beginner's workout. Um, so if you have never worked out before, this is the perfect opportunity for you. And if it's just been a long time, jump straight in and get ready to move your body. It's gonna feel good. So I'm gonna set the timer and then we'll begin. Okay, so the first move that we're gonna do is just a basic jumping jack. So, just organize my leggings. Feel free to do the same if you need to. Okay, so we're just jumping out, in, out, in. Now you can go faster than me if you want, you can go slower than me, but I will warn you, we are going to be doing this for one whole minute, okay? So just set yourself a pace that you're comfortable with and that you feel you can sustain for a while. If you're finding it difficult to jump, you can step out and jump back in or just step out, step in, okay? Start at your own level and work your way up from there. And just keep going. If you're getting out of breath, then you can slow down a little, but try your best not to stop. The purpose of this move is to raise our heart rate, increase our breathing. What are my arms and legs doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, our next move is squats. So legs straight, turn your feet out to about 45 degree, and then bend your butt all the way back down towards the ground and then lift it back up again and squeeze your glutes when you lift up. So down and up. Now look at your knees. They should be going straight over your feet. Okay, not poking in or poking out, but going the same direction as your feet. Okay, and your bum and lower back should be headed sort of straight down towards the ground as if you're sitting down in a chair, nice and comfortably. Good, now another thing that's going to help you with this is to really suck your ab muscles in and keep them sucked in all the way down and all the way up. Not only will it help to work your ab muscles, making your abs stronger and your core stronger, but it will just help you to maintain that balance. Okay, well done. Okay, so our next move is a basic sit-up. So get down onto the mat and lie all the way down. We're gonna put our hands just behind our head, not pulling, just, just resting. And we're going to use our ab muscles to lift all the way up and then slowly lower back down, okay? So really suck the abs in, lift. Well done, you might find that your feet want to rise up as you're lifting. So if you do find that, just tuck them underneath like the bottom of your sofa or underneath your bed or get somebody to hold them down for you and that will help you to really engage your ab muscles as you do this. Also, on the way down, up, it's really important that you curl your spine so your spine goes down one vertebrae at a time, starting from the bottom and then coming all the way up to your shoulders and that will help to prevent any injuries, any spinal injuries or any strain to your back. Well done, you're all done. Okay, the next move that we're going to do is a half press up. So just turn straight over onto your knees, hands spread wide on the mat, claw in with your fingers and press down and press up. Now make sure that your elbows are going straight out to like towards your feet so straight back behind you and they're kind of tucked in to the sides of your body okay you can do press-ups where they they lean out to the side that's a different type of press-up um this is the basic press-up that we're doing at the moment so keep going down and up now it's really useful to suck your abs in as well as you do this okay that will help to build a stronger core and it will help to stabilize your body in general now this one might be really hard if you're not used to using your arms um, and we are doing it for a whole minute but don't worry just keep on going because you've already finished a minute okay our last move is a banana back lift 
So we're going to be lying straight down. And we're going to lift up our feet and our hands. And we're just gonna hold for a few seconds before just dropping down and then lifting back up again. That's it. So try not to over extend. You're not trying to get as high up as you possibly can. You're just trying to engage those back muscles and to kind of wake them up and build that strength bit by bit. Well done. And this is the last move of our workout. So once we finish this, you have completed five whole minutes of exercise. And although it might not feel like it, you've taken the first steps towards being stronger, healthier, and just really building a body that will work for you, that will support you. That's it. Now, after a back, a back exercise, it's really good to just take a quick child's pose to stretch out your back. It's really lovely and relaxing. Now, the reason that I included these particular moves in this workout are because they are the absolute foundational moves for many of the workouts that you will find online. So for example, we did a squat, we did a sit up, we did a basic press up. Now you might see people on other workout videos doing all kinds of crazy additional stuff, but those moves will be the basic first step of whatever else they're adding to it. So once you can do those moves, you can start to experiment, add like a leg lift or twist when you're doing a sit up or all kinds of different stuff um, to make it more fun and exciting, work different muscles a bit differently. But you can't really add all of those additional extras until you've got the foundations and you've got them really well. So um, thank you very much for joining me. I hope that this was helpful and uh, please come back for more soon. Bye bye.